Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. That's Pit Dog. Feeling spry <laughs> until I put the camera in your face, son of a dog. What you begging for? What you want? <laughs> morning, Candace. Good morning. Candace got box knives. And she's going to help me a little bit, too. Get your box knives here. Box knives, box knives. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> She's going to help me a little bit too. She helped me yesterday. It, it helped a bunch. Um, I was calling out the, the die cast orders and she was pulling them and then would line them all up down the bench. And then uh, I'd pack those and we'd do it again. That, that helped a bunch. She's going to do that again today. Got uh, We listed a bunch of die cast yesterday and... Mostly you guys bought most, I think probably just about all of it, if not all of it. Uh, we've got 99 total items going out today on 57 orders. So average order size is close to two, two items per order. A lot of y'all ordered um, multiple, multiple die cast cars. So thank y'all very much for doing that. Um, I'm going to try and, like yesterday, I'm going to try and keep the... Um, keep the order pulling and the the you know thank yous and whatnot i'm gonna try and keep all that like as brief as possible uh just because otherwise it would take forever and it's gonna be uh the same things over and over and over <laughs> so uh let's get started okay first up is not die cast this is a phone bought a bunch of these phones I don't know, a year ago or more. I think I just have a few of them left now. I just have to figure out which one of these sold. And I could tell by looking at like the uh, little speed dial buttons. I used to have tags on them, but they fell off. Um, okay, this is the one that has Knight, Clerk, Jerry, Lucille, and Art. <laughs> Knight, Clerk, Jerry, Lucille, and Art. Like a good and I know, and then it has a blank there. That one has a blank. Oh, don't forget old Pamela. Remember her? Mm -hmm. Seth. <laughs> All right, this one doesn't have anything. All right, so it's definitely this phone right here. It's going out. This is this is a very interesting order because sold a phone and on that exact same order sold I sold a hat <laughs> but it is a witch's hat wicked witch of the west hat uh, and then on that same order and this is going to the UK and I, they didn't leave a note or anything I'm assuming it's a viewer though just based on the, the item mix so uh, they also bought an A-Team van. So, I'm going to challenge y'all right here. I'm going to challenge y'all to find a more interesting mix of items than a telephone, Wicked Witch of the West hat, and A-Team van. If you can find a more random mix of items, well, I won't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is going out to Craig, who again, uh, d didn't leave a note or anything. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Craig. Do appreciate it. Okay, first round. And like I said, a lot of these are uh, multi-items, multi, multi -items, so it's not too, too bad. Um, and I'm assuming everyone's a viewer, but everyone may not be a viewer. A few of y'all left uh, messages, though. Camilla bought a Smokey and the Bandit. Elton bought... Ace Ventura Monte Carlo. Seanette bought a Princess Peach character car. And I believe, I'm not 100%, but I believe these are the ones that were made for the European market. Not the U.S. market. Uh, Marcos bought a Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am or a Firebird and a Texas Chainsaw Massacre truck. Lori bought the Toad from uh, Super Mario. I, well, they call it Super Mario, but... Is it supposed to be cart? I'm not sure. I don't think 
Yeah, I don't think so either because it doesn't say anything about Mario Kart, does it? No. Um, Derek bought, he bought an Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, a John Wick Mustang, and a Smokey and the Bandit cart. Those are the three I would buy if I was buying these. Actually, I am going to keep one of each of those myself. Um, Alan bought the Holland Gas tour bus looking thing from uh, Led Zeppelin. And he also got Baby from Supernatural. Doug got a King of Crunch. This is the original Bigfoot. And Eric got a Trans Am also. Or not a Trans Am. What is this? Is it called a Firebird? I don't know, Candace. I better get it right. Sure, TA. Does that mean Trans Am? It does? Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all very much. Really appreciate it. Let me get these packed and we'll do another round. Okay, this is actually going pretty smooth. So I sit here and I look at the screen, write out thank you notes, call out shelf locations and cars and candace has been getting them for me it's been going pretty good huh candace mm -hmm. i like that i like, guess so helpful um so josh got a texas chainsaw massacre bridget got four cars both 18 vehicles and uh both of the 007 vehicles we had a lotus esprit and an aston martin db10 uh melissa bought what, six vehicles here. She got the John Wick Mustang, Smokey and Bandit Trans Am, Texas Chainsaw Massacre truck, and then all three of the Led Zeppelin vehicles. Jesse got a Bigfoot and a Trans Am. John bought six. He bought Trans Am, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, another Trans Am. He bought two. And then he got the John Wick Mustang and both of the 007 vehicles, cars. Terry got a uh, Smokey and the Bandit, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and an A-Team van. And uh, David got a Spectre Aston Martin DB10 and a John Wick Mustang. And finally, on this round, Rose got a baby. So thank you guys very much. Let me get this stuff packed. I cleared the bench. About to pull some more. But Candace, what you doing over here? I'm Batman. <laughs> I mean, I'm working on Batman. Um, I just... Like, I've got three boxes of loose cards. I'm going through them. And I just found this. It's got a piece of Batman's cape. That's a piece of the cape from the movie? Yeah. Uh, what movie is it? Which one? I don't know. I think it came out of this box. Batman Begins, maybe? Yeah, Batman Begins. Batman Begins. Let's see what it says. This card contains an authentic piece of Batman's cape. Man. That's... That seems like it should be pretty valuable. We'll see. I don't know how many they made. That's a little bitty piece. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> but still. Now, I'm going to go and through. And then they probably have more than one cape in the movie, too. Another box over there I found some, hot. some decent cards. I mean, like, this one sold for seven. You know, five. Are those all from the same movie? No. Because even those, you could, no, they're not. No. Like, this is Superman. There's a few, um... Cause even they're like, mainly Batman, but there's a few that... These are not Batman. Because even those are kind of like lot up type level. And then this is a... But they're um, not commons. This is a set of foil cards. Now, these mint go for... What, what did I show you? I don't know. You showed a PSA 9 yeah. for like... I don't know. What was it? Like... 85? Yeah, something like that. So, I'm going to... I mean, they definitely have issues, like there's little scratches there. Yeah, so they're not going to be a nine. But no, uh, individually, they sold. I saw one. I saw them sell for like six bucks. But I've got two of those, and then other cards in the series. So I think I'm just going to auction off all yeah, of this. Yeah, make set. one lot. Yeah, that'd be good. Nice. It's a lot of work, but hopefully it'll pay off. This is the time-consuming stuff that I don't like doing. That Candace. Do you like doing this? I don't, yeah, I don't mind. Okay. Because as long as you enjoy doing it, then I think it's yeah. fairly worthwhile. Sort of. Sticker. Sticker cards. Now, this was in there. I don't know what this is. Just random it's cards. Ultraman. It's a DC Comics upper deck. Looks like some kind of game or something. Yeah. These are stuck together. But anyways, uh, Candace is working on that. I and just found another foil card. 
There you go. Throw it in your lot. I can't wait to see what that Batman cape... I'm going to find out right now. No. What? You're going to take away my glory. Okay, we'll go go find out, and then we'll, we'll come back. I'm sorting through all this, and you're going to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't. That's the fun part, when you find the... Yeah, Watch, it's worth five dollars. We'll find it. It probably is. I'm, I don't have high hopes. I do. So here are. Solds. The, These are solds. Yeah, those are solds. This is UK. Um, but yeah, look, thirty-five. Best offer on thirty-five. Best offer on thirty, twenty-eight. So okay. I'm thinking probably about thirty bucks. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, it looks like thirty is a good number for that. Okay. Sweet. That's nice. Yeah. That's a good one there. All right. I, need I would call that a big win. That'll pay for a couple hours of your labor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next round. And right now we're up to orders. The end of this table are die cast orders that came in, I think, up to about 8 o'clock last night. So we're making some progress here. Uh, Jeremy bought three cars Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 18 van and a bigfoot king of crunch doug bought a john wick mustang felix bought five cars he bought a led zeppelin minivan a 007 esprit lotus esprit ace ventura monte carlo john wick mustang and texas chainsaw massacre truck jake Cigar saguaro picker he got a monte carlo Zach got a John Wick Mustang and an Eleanor. That's a couple of good choices there. Very similar. Look, even the even the paint is similar with the stripes and stuff. Uh, Brian got a John Wick Mustang and a baby from Supernatural. Andrew got a Texas Chainsaw Massacre truck. Claudette got four cars. She got a Bigfoot. She got a uh, an Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. She got a Mustang from John Wick. And she got a Ghost Rider Dodge Charger. Anita got a Baby from Supernatural and a um, Mustang from Gone in 60 Seconds, Eleanor. So thank you all, all very much. All right, got to pull a few non-diecast orders before I do the rest of the diecast orders. First is from 4 Bravo. Candace just listed this yesterday. Honestly, we came real close to throwing this away. I'll be honest. And then Candace looked it up. It's like an old Spider-Man car. Yeah, they're pretty rare. They are. Candace looked it up and she only saw a couple and it just seemed like a shame. It's from the 70s and this thing's all battered and beaten. Yeah. So... <laughs> We're not really making it any money, much money on this, but it seemed like a shame not to sell the parts off. Well, that's, I mean, like the wheels and um, axles, axles are good, and the base plate is really good. Yeah. So somebody could maybe use that. Oh, and there's the hood, the... Um, Spoiler? Or the... It's, I think that's the thing that holds the spider web. Oh, okay. You're supposed to have a thing that comes up that has, like, black netting, that, you know, for spider web or whatever. Yeah, so it and, seemed like a shame to throw it away. So we listed it, and it actually sold. She she made it pretty cheap, nine ninety nine, plus shipping. So I'm glad we did that. That felt better than throwing it away. Yep. Oh, I have to pull a um, a Madonna religious print for Stephen. I'll be right back. Hey, Stephen bought this religious print of Madonna. So thank you very much, Stephen. It was on my five percent sale. <laughs> Uh, he said, this is for Mariana. She watches you two every day. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you for watching Mariana and Stephen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, sold a... This is our first Centurions going out. Hornet land assault weapon system with box 100% complete from 10 Delta. We actually had two auctions in last night. Okay. I think it is this one right here. Yep, Hornet Land Assault Weapon System right here. And it must be the stuff that's in this baggie too. Right, Candace? Stuff that was right there in that baggie, it looks like the same stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pack this stuff very carefully, of course. 
But yeah, this sold for $145 uh, plus shipping on top. Had another one in last night too, another Centurions thing in for pretty good money. And uh, got a disconcerting message this morning from the winner. He had a pretty good bit of feedback, but guy in Germany says, uh, hey, would you, can you do free shipping on this? <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> so, after the auction yeah, it was after it ended. It wasn't a pre-auction question. So, uh, we'll see if that actually, how that works out. That That's kind of up in the air. But this one sold for really good money and got paid for. Sold some fanzines. Set of three. And the fanzines... They are they are longer tail items, but the money is really good on them. Um, anything goes. These are adult in in nature. They sold for thirty seven ninety nine plus shipping on top. Another round. Rich bought Mario and Luigi of that series. Uh, John and Amy bought a Texas Chainsaw Massacre truck. Faye bought four cars. She bought an A Team van two john wick mustangs and gone in 60 seconds eleanor michael got a um a baby from supernatural nick got a gone in 60 seconds eleanor and a john wick mustang daniel got a led zeppelin super van jorge got a bigfoot uh, natalie actually bought two things uh, a 67 Austin minivan, Led Zeppelin, and a Peter Pan film reel with the pen in there. So, thank you very much, Natalie. Brian bought a, an Ace Ventura Monte Carlo. So, thank you very much, everyone. Let me pack these up. We'll do another round. I think we're getting kind of close. All right, another round. Kristen bought an 18 van. Richard bought John Wick Mustang. John bought... A Bigfoot. Jeff and Tiana bought a 1971 Chevy C10 pickup from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Tobias bought a cop car from uh, the Terminator. Mike bought a John Wick Mustang. Jason bought this is the Ace Ventura CJ7 green machine, meaning which you can identify from uh, the green rims. And it's got, you can see green on the undercarriage there too. And on the spare tire. Well, kind of a little chase car there. And then uh, a John Wick Mustang and a Lotus Esprit from The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, Ivan bought a baby from Supernatural. And Mike bought an 18 van. Thank y'all all very much. Uh, so I bought, I bought some of that american bubble boy <laughs> from um a couple from last week i bought like two big stacks of american bubble boy like uh the 700 foot packs i bought two of those and i'm on my second roll now of one and uh i like it like i can tell y'all here here here's what i'll say first of all the bubbles these are the fullest bubbles I can ever remember in a roll of bubble wrap. The bubbles are very, very bubbly. Uh, the bubble wrap itself, like the plastic, is extremely thin. Like, very, very thin. Like, if you ever bought the bubble wrap from Sam's Club, like the 3M stuff, that stuff is real thick. This stuff is extremely thin, but in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it actually make, probably makes it more light. I have had, the only thing I would say, the perforations aren't always great. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. They aren't real consistent. Um, it just depends. So, so far, this is definitely a do again for me, especially given the speed of delivery. I'm happy. And the bubbles are the big part for me because the bubbles make it take up more space and it provides a little void fill and better protection. So, that is my unpaid unpaid uh first assessment of this stuff is it always like that i don't know how good like their consistency is if i just got a good run or what but uh i'll probably try it again all right we'll pull one more thing today 
we have other orders that did come in um, early this morning, but I'm struggling just to get everything out. I did get everything that I pulled out today because uh, the carrier came earlier than normal, and um, I had a bunch of stuff. I actually had a few packages from yesterday that didn't go out, and then I um, I had more I wanted to pack for today, so I went ahead and made a run to the post office, which I don't normally do. So, if you ordered something yesterday, it went out today. All right, I have one more thing to pull, though, from yesterday, and that is a DC Direct Batmobile 1960s. It's on 10 Charlie. And I guess this is just going to be an order-pulling video here. 19, I did say 1960s, I think. This guy right here, big and heavy. Is the, I guess the base is most of this weight, huh, Candace? Uh, Sold that at auction for $71 plus shipping on top. So uh, we have one other one that sold that hadn't been paid for yet. Look at this. This thing sold for $195. That was the uh, original MSRP or whatever back then. So, that's everything. <laughs> Candace is uh, still over here listing cards and whatnot. I think, is Pippin still in here? Mm -hmm. Couldn't you tell? No, I can't. I, honestly, I can't tell. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess this was just an order pulling kind of day today. So, I think we're going to end it here because I need to edit some video now, too. But thank y'all for watching, and we will see y'all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye.